The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning and good afternoon, depending where you are joining us, be it West Coast or the East Coast of the USA or um, outside of the US. Welcome, welcome to the Peregrine webinar on discovering opportunities for the ACBSP standard number four, which covers the measurement and analysis of student learning and performance. Uh, my name is Alima Jamian Soren, and I'm the Director of Assessment Services at Peregrine. With me today are my colleagues, Marcus Roth and Christina Perry. Marcus is joining us from Zurich, Switzerland, and Christina is based in our home office in Gillette, Wyoming. Thank you very much for signing up for today's uh, webinar and joining us. Um, before we start, I wanted to let you know that we plan to record today's presentation and make it available to you via our YouTube channel so that you could share the information with your team members and other decision makers. Now, due to the webinar setup and some of the technical settings, I would like to ask you to write down your questions and hold on to them until the end. I'll plan to leave some time for a Q&A session to answer your questions. Uh, if you notice, there's a handout section on the webinar side panel. We have uploaded some materials for you so that you could review them at your own time and space and also share with your colleagues. Uh, I'd like to point out the documents we have uploaded for you, and they are a PDF version of today's presentation, there's a Word document that contains the demo instructions for you to try out, review, and evaluate the services in an environment that is very similar to the student's experience. Uh, the exam summary document contains the topics, subtopics, and subjects covered in our assessment exam along with a couple sample questions. You use the exam summary document to map your programmatic learning objectives to our assessment tool, as well as to align your program's curriculum content. Uh, one other document I have is the client onboarding packet. Um, it provides you information how to become part of Peregrine Greater Family and uh, uh, start using our services, a very simple form. Uh, the, uh, at last and not the least, I have uploaded the sample response distractor report. And I'll tell you what that report is um, when I start talking about the report. So today, we are here to talk about customizable, online, programmatic outcomes-based assessment provided by Peregrine Academic Services. So we are Peregrine Global and made up of two interrelated organizations called Peregrine Leadership Institute and Peregrine Academic Services. Peregrine Academic Services, as most of you, I hope, are very familiar, is the globally recognized leader in providing higher education support services. By leveraging our partnerships with the higher educational institutions, accreditation bodies, and other academic organizations. Now, our approach is to first understand your needs then provide services that meet those needs with current, customizable, and globally applicable solutions. Our solutions are designed to improve your academic programs and achieve your institutional and programmatic goals and objectives. Students are the focus of Peregrine Academics, and we are committed to creating engaging and meaningful experiences for students to help them become motivated, lifelong learners. Our services will prepare students to become well-informed and poised for future success. At Peregrine, we offer a wide range of higher education programs, courses, and services. Our educational programs include academic leveling courses. Now, these are designed for undergraduate transfer students and incoming graduate students who do not have a prior business administration background or experience. 
The Bloomberg Business Week B-School Connection is an academic resource that is available for faculty and students and comes with a 20-week digital subscription to Bloomberg Business Week. E-Programs is an online MBA, Master of Philosophy, and DBA curriculum content. It comes with a program and curriculum guide, course syllabi, also student and faculty instructions. We provide the content, but the schools brand and implement the programs and also award the degrees. Not only the entire programs are available, you can also purchase individual online courses to supplement your existing online academic programs. Uh, online leadership courses, the seven courses, you're welcome to go and check them out on our website. And uh, under the educational programs, the last and not the least, is the Write in Sight, an academic writing readiness course that teaches academic writing, proper citation, plagiarism, and an opportunity to customize this course for your students using one of the three documentation styles, uh, be it the APA that you use in your program or MLA or CMS. Now today, we're here to talk about our business and business-related programmatic assessment exam services. We also have the programmatic assessment exams available for a number of other academic programs listed on the screen for you, plus the general education uh, requirements. About our education support services, please go and check our website for more information. Now, as you well know, assessment of learning outcomes is a key requirement for both programmatic and institutional accreditation. Now, the challenge is always to find the right assessment tool and a tool that is flexible, comprehensive, affordable, and provides external comparison capability. In addition, a 24-7 access to the results and data is always a plus. And this is all that we provide. Now, on this slide, uh, we have um, a graphical representation of the six-step process for continuous improvement of student learning. And we all know all too well the continuous improvement processes and the concept of closing the loop right here. For those of you who might be using other assessment tools, be it grown in-house or provided externally, we have a handy table where we compare our features to those of the others. And we have this information also available on our website. So essentially, our nationally normed summative assessment services provide unparalleled reporting capability. And, and, and uh, we meet not only the accreditor's requirements, um, these services have also been approved by ACBSP for its um, standard number four, measurement and analysis of student learning and performance. We also work not only with ACBSP, but other programmatic assessment um, accreditors, or well, not only assessment, but programmatic business accreditors, and they are IACBE, AACSB, AMBA, and EFMD, and so forth. So ACBSP, as you might know, requires direct measure of student learning. They also require indirect measure of student learning. And then the next aspect, they ask uh, institutions who are seeking accreditation to provide comparative measure of learning. So our assessment tool meets the direct measure of student learning and comparative measure of student learning requirements. Uh, in order to meet the indirect measure of student learning requirements set out by ACBSP, you can use our free complementary uh, student survey to be offered as part of the assessment uh, to your students. Another requirement that ACBSP sets out for you is to provide three data points 
to make sure that you have an assessment plan and continuous improvement process established at your program. Now with Peregrine, you can meet all of those requirements by using our reports. So we do offer in our assessment service, an opportunity for you to align your learning outcomes to our assessment by using the 12 Business Common Core Topics, also known as uh, Common Professional Component Topics or the CPCs. Uh, you can integrate our assessment service very easily into your existing learning management system using the full LTI integration system. So the assessment is delivered seamlessly to your students and you can utilize the automated gradebook posting. We have the three separate test banks for your undergraduate, master's and doctoral academic program requirements. And um, the client admin site with the 24 seven access is something that is quite unique and very uh, helpful in your continuous improvement processes. Uh, because we have a wealth of data and um, over 460 client schools using our services and in particular over 360 using our assessment uh, tool, we are able to provide you a wealth of external comparison pools, the aggregate pools for your uh, setting the external benchmarking goals. So we do provide you a programmatic evaluation that is flexible, very cost effective, and easily integratable into your academic programs. You can directly measure your student retained knowledge and uh, meet your continuous improvement uh, process requirements along with uh, uh, accreditation needs. Here's the list of our 12 business topics that are offered. And in addition to that, uh, you can use the topics uh, that are supplemental and advanced in nature, also topics from our other assessment services, and create uh, customized assessment exams to meet your specialization, concentration, major, and minor requirements. So these topics are marketing, human resource management, real estate, Homeland Security, and sports management that are related to business. But you can also use the topics from our public administration, test banks, healthcare administration, accounting and finance, and criminal justice if you have a specialized program with focus on these areas. If you have a very unique program and you want to evaluate that particular area, we work with you to create additional custom topics that are unique to your institution. So if you have such a need, please feel free to contact um, us or if you are a client institution, please um, get in touch with your client services uh, managers. So each business topic has four to eight subject areas. And then the subjects is what I call your learning objectives without the verb. So you map your learning objectives to the subjects within our assessment tool and track them using our comprehensive online assessment tool. So each subject contains about 20 to 40 uh, multiple choice questions, and they are based on student knowledge attained as a result of their academic experience with your program. We don't have true or false questions. We ask students to really apply their knowledge and uh, think about um, what they have retained in order to answer the assessment exam questions. We do have, we do have a quality assurance uh, uh, department at Peregrine. We are all about continuous improvement um, and make sure that we do our due diligence. So we conduct regular review of our services for validity and reliability, including the test bank questions and the question um, quality, relevancy, difficulty, and so forth. And we have a wealth of information on uh, um, this topic on our website. So feel free to explore.
I mentioned that our assessment service is easily integrated into academic program, but also we offer you flexible purchase options. We have schools that sell the assessment through the university bookstore. Uh, we also have um, uh, schools with institutional funding that covers um, assessment, in which case we offer you monthly invoicing. And uh, some schools have um, assessment and other fees built into uh, the program and uh, have students uh, cover the assessment. Also, students can purchase the assessment exams through the self-registration process. So we offer what we call the inbound and outbound um, exam approach. So inbound is our program level pretest, and uh, most often is offered to the students in their very first um, business course, for example. And then the outbound exams are offered as uh, the last course activity before students complete their academic program. And um, with the full LTI integration, the assessment is offered as a coursework assignment within the LMS or if students um, use the self-registration uh, process, then they go through the microsite designed uh, specifically for your institution. And when we talk about customization, we're talking about customization on a topical level. So for most uh, bachelor's level programs, you're likely to uh, select 10 to 12 topics. So the idea here is you only test what you teach. So if there's a topic or an area that you do not cover in your curriculum content, then you exclude that topic from the assessment exam. So uh, for the associate uh, programs, what that means is uh, most often programs uh, select anywhere from four to six topics to create an assessment exam. And for graduate level programs, it ends up being anywhere from six to 10 topics. Again, you are looking at your learning objectives and outcomes uh, and uh, looking at your academic program curriculum to create assessment exams. So as I mentioned, um, inbound exam is completed at the beginning of the academic program. It provides you with the baseline measurement of your incoming students' uh, knowledge base. And the comparison of the inbound exam results to the outbound exam scores provides you the direct measure of learning. This is your value added of the program to the student's knowledge base. Uh, the, when you compare the uh, summative uh, results of your uh, programs uh, to those of uh, similar institutions, you are able to achieve um, external academic benchmarking. Now, if your student body demographics have not changed significantly, uh, the inbound and outbound exams can be administered concurrently for statistically valid comparisons. When a student takes the inbound exam and then uh, they go through your entire program and takes the outbound exam, we are able to provide you a pairwise reporting for those individual students. So this is the online exam window. Um, so depending on how many topics you have selected into your assessment exam, uh, the length of the exam is going to differ and thus the amount of time students spend on completing the assessment exam. So each question is timed. So if you have, for example, exam that contains eight to 12 topics, there's 10 questions per topic. You're looking at an assessment of 80 to 120 questions. So it is going to take uh, students anywhere from uh, uh, 60 to you know, 90 minutes. Um, even though each question is timed to three minutes, um, not a single student takes all three minutes. So on average, a minute, a minute and a half, appears to be a good number. At the end of the outbound assessment exam, students receive a completion certificate and uh, which could be submitted for academic accountability, but also students like to use the completion certificate results as part of their job application portfolio or 
even put the results in their resume or CV. So uh, if I'm applying for a job in marketing and um, I have achieved 94th percentile in marketing on this nationally normed uh, summative assessment tool that's offered to more than 400 or so uh, higher educational institutions around the world, that I can use the results as proof of uh, my having achieved the competency in that area. Uh, we do also uh, recommend not only to offer the assessment as part of a course, but grade the exams so that students take the exam seriously and they put their full effort um, and you get the accurate data and results. Uh, we do have some assistance for you to uh, share how it's best done uh, based on the practices of our client institutions. Um, so we offer this assessment tool as a flexible approach to, uh, as a flexible option to not only you as an institution, also to your students. Uh, in order to ensure the integrity of the exam process, we have a, a number of built-in measures into the exam, such as, um, you know, the topics and the questions are offered randomly to the students. The questions are drawn from the test bank of thousands of questions as well. So if I'm taking the assessment exam with a friend, then the chances of us being on the same topic, subtopic, subject are small, but even being on the same question are small. So the functionality also of copying and pasting is disabled and the web browser is also disabled as well. Um, we do have uh, other tools built into the exam. We also monitor the IP address of students. If someone is supposed to be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but the IP address shows up as in Florida, we do, um, um, we do reach out to the instructor and make sure that that's a legitimate um, change of IP address. But if a student uh, moves away from the exam window, there's a message pops up that says, we've noticed your exam window has been inactive. If this happens again, we're going to, um, notify your instructor. So there's a big brother watching. So these will help your students to take this assessment exam in a non-proctored environment. Um, so students do have to record an answer to a question in, in order to move forward. They cannot backtrack. Once an exam um, uh, is activated, students have 48 hours to complete the exam. So this is uh, the view of the completion certificate. The front page shows uh, results, summary results on a topical level. And um, the back page uh, provides more detailed information. The results broken out by the subject levels. And if a student has taken inbound midpoint and outbound assessment, then they can, um, see the progress that they have made as a result of their academic career. I do want to mention a little bit about the midpoint assessment. Uh, the, so inbound is clear at the beginning of the academic program, outbound, that's your program level um, uh, post exam. And once a student graduates from your program, if they did not have um, um, successful results, say on the post test, the outbound exam, they left your program. You cannot take any remediation steps. So schools came up with the, using the midpoint assessment in order to help students to uh, become even more successful, to catch them uh, before they um, actually get um, insufficient results on the post-test. So that's how midpoint assessments um, became to be used um, at the initiative of our client schools. Now the client admin site is available for our client institutions only. And uh, it provides you access to uh, student registration information, results, uh, uh, access to reports and ability to generate reports 24-7. Uh, uh, not only you are able to uh, access all our reports and generate them when you need them, uh, we do have a team of client services managers that conduct regular training on how to use client admin site. And um, if uh, need be, they're always happy to run a report for you. So here's some information on the student uh, registration management. 
um, you will see uh, live information on who has completed the assessment or midway, how much time they spent, and also the reports. So this is a, a view of um, the client admin site with the report tab displaying um, what are the reports that are available to you, but also with a little uh, narrative on which uh, of these reports cover what areas. So you don't have to remember and memorize every single report. There is a little uh, a window that helps you remember which reports are what. So we do offer reports for three uh, sort of general areas. The individual student reports are available in the form of um, Excel file. So this contains all your student results uh, with the percent of questions answered correctly for each of the topical and subject levels. Um, the pairwise report I mentioned is for students who have taken the inbound, midpoint, and outbound exams. And uh, um, there is a summary version of the pairwise report. For your programmatic evaluation purposes, we strive to provide you all the reports you need for your continuous improvement and also accreditation requirements. We've mentioned that ACBSP requires you to provide uh, three data points. So in order to see the results of these three different testing periods, or in this case, up to five exam periods, you can show all of those results in side-by-side -side comparison in the longitudinal analysis report. So it's really great report uh, if you are filing your um, either self-study report or your quality assurance report. The internal analysis report is going to be helpful for you to look at the means and analysis of frequencies uh, in order to look at your internal evaluation of the program. We also have an executive summary version of it. And uh, in order to compare your student results against uh, one or more comparison groups or aggregate pools, we have created the external comparison report. And it also has an executive summary version of it. For those of you who have specializations, multiple programs, um, concentrations, we have a program comparison report, and we also have a student cohort group comparison report. Um, and the student cohort groups, you can define however you need to. It could be campus locations, it could be um, adult learners versus your traditional students. Now, the latest report that we have started offering this fall is the Response Distractor Report. And Peregrine is the only service provider with this capability. So what we did here is uh, we wanted to answer a question that says, why are my students answering questions incorrectly? So we have coded our incorrect questions based on five types of response distractors. So this is a really exciting report and um, I'll, I'll uh, explain in a little more detail when we come to more expanded description of reports. So I did mention that for your indirect measure of uh, student learning, you can utilize our student uh, survey report. Um, you can you formulate your questions as to get answers to uh, this indirect measure of learning. And we just uploaded, offered as part of your outbound exam. And the beauty is you get 100% response back from your students when an outbound exam is uh, required of the students. So we provide the summary report, and if you have open-ended questions, we send you the comments. Uh, great scale conversion report uh, helps you to uh, grade your outbound exam and uh, offer it as part of a course. So initially, we create a, um, a school, uh, actually, all test takers based grading skill. But as you test with us, we actually provide you school specific grading and then grading skill that you use in your academic programs. So we talked about aggregate uh, comparison pools. We have a number of aggregate pools that are available for you 
uh, in order to set your external benchmarking. And uh, they are based on general institutional demographics. So be it uh, you know, privately owned, publicly owned, um, or uh, very large privately owned, we also have a category. And um, we group uh, our data based on uh, accrediting body affiliation, geographic location, and uh, you know, academic degree programs, of course, masters versus uh, undergraduate and doctoral. And uh, for ACBSP, we even have information for your regions. So that's the uh, aggregate extraction report that gives you the data for each of the aggregates. But if you want to see which schools make up each of the aggregates, you can run a client schools and aggregate reports and um, uh, see those schools. In order to generate a report, we have a very simple report uh, generation wizard that guides you through uh, how to generate the report. So as I mentioned, you can run your own reports 24 seven and select your criteria and save them for subsequent use. However, if you are not so sure how to run the report, you can always contact our client services managers who are happy to run them for you or set a schedule for a training to learn how to do them yourself. So here, here we go into a bit more detail into what each of the reports uh, look like or how to generate them from the client admin site. The individual student results is an Excel file containing all your student results. Uh, for the internal analysis report, you're really using it to compare um, your uh, results based on the uh, percent scores and percentile ranking. So your student performance, is it really below or above your desired thresholds? So also you want to see how much uh, you know, percentage increase in terms of uh, student retained knowledge, you are departing onto your students. So that's your internal evaluation. But as you know, ACBSP requires you to uh, set your external benchmarking goals. So for that, you can create the external comparison report with up to five aggregate polls that you choose from the list of aggregates and then uh, compare your results uh, against the polls you have chosen. So we talked about the, so for the longitudinal report, I do want to mention that you can uh, select uh, anywhere from two, two to four sets of results over time in one report and um, see your trend essentially. Uh, one other area you want to use it is uh, to really close the loop. So we talked about, um, conducting the assessment with your outgoing graduate students. So that's your outbound exam results, right? And uh, make sure you have a good sample, of course. Make sure the trend is established. And uh, you analyze your data, you share your results with your department chairs. And then once you have established the trend or the once you identify the areas for improvement, then you put together a plan of action or a change plan. So you implement your change plan, and then in the subsequent testing, you want to see did the changes you make to your academic program or curriculum have the intended impact? So the longitudinal report really helps you to see, you know, to seek answer to that question. So here's uh, information on the program and student cohort comparison report and uh, the pairwise report. And uh, uh, this is the response destructor report page I want to share with you. As I mentioned, our reports provide a detailed analysis of your program, not only on a topical level, but also on a subject level. And this is really a value of the reports you receive from us. So not only are you getting information how your students are performing, for example, in accounting, but also it breaks down, are they doing better in assets and liabilities? Are they doing better in capital investments? Or maybe they are struggling more with um, audits and auditing. 
And um, so we always love to sit down with the uh, client school, be it a client services managers or any one of us, and find out the answers to why you see what you see. And that's really the purpose of us creating all these reports for you so you can have the results and the reports in an easily digestible and friendly uh, representation so you can use it, apply it to improving your academic programs. So once you have done the internal analysis and external comparison of your report and looked in depth at the co components of your topic, also comparing it to your uh, comparative uh, aggregate pools, now this report helps you understand even further what, why you see what you see. So why your students are answering questions incorrectly? Uh, was it based on calculation error, concept error, conclusion? based error, fact-based error, or interpretation-based error. So if, for example, your students are, um, so this is your percent of questions answered correctly, and from those, and this is your aggregate comparison, and um, if you look at assets and liabilities, um, your students are answering questions incorrectly based on concept-based error mostly, right? That's a larger percentage. So the solution would be, again, once you have good sample and establish the trend, um, how you can improve on this result. So maybe you need to uh, beef up the content on assets and liabilities, or maybe you need to add an assignment uh, where you, students uh, discuss the assets and liabilities, its implications and its usage and so forth. Or um, maybe you need to have a little extra homework or assignment to um, reinforce the concept understanding. So this really helps you to improve the delivery of your program and you use it in conjunction with your internal analysis and external analysis reports. So for the student survey, we do provide you a summary report of your students' results. And it could be used, as I mentioned, for um, measuring indirect learning. And uh, you decide the survey items. We have a sample, a survey questionnaire, but most schools have their own um, surveys, and we're happy to upload it and offer it as part of the outbound assessment exam. Here's a sample grade scale report table. and. Um, you know, we have the percentile information, we have the comprehensive exam score, and the different uh, grade skills that you can use in order to easily uh, post uh, grades into your grade book if you're using the full LTI integration to your learning management system. We talked about the aggregate data report and also um, aggregate uh, school report. Within the client admin site, we also have um, Peregrine's educational site. And it's only offered to our client institutions along with the client admin site. And it has uh, content related to best practices and assessment, learning outcomes evaluation, and techniques to use and interpret the reports for quality assurance. As you can imagine, with 460 client institutions using our services, we get a wealth of best practices information and knowledge from our client schools. So this provides you a very structured environment where you can um, learn from those experiences and also learn more about um, you know, continuous improvement processes, quality assurance, and so forth. So to recap, um, we have designed an assessment service and we are your thought partner. We're here to provide you academic solutions. And uh, our solutions, especially uh, in terms of assessment, are designed to meet your accreditation requirements to learning outcomes assessment. And it is customizable to meet your specific business programs uh, needs and uh, designations. We offer a full LTI integration to your learning management system for seamless delivery of the assessment to your students and facilitate uh, uh, incorporating the assessment into academic courses. Uh, there are very simple um, pricing structures. Uh, there's no need for pre-purchase or contracts. We have uh, flexible purchase options. You can sell the uh, services through bookstore 
or uh, invoice the institution or students just go through a um, secure e-commerce site and purchase individual assessments as part of your microsite designed for your institution. And the client admin site with a 24-7 access and unlimited access to your reporting data uh, results is unparalleled in the higher education support industry. So I have provided you with the demo instructions to our demo site where you can try out the assessment exam and the academic leveling courses. Also, the demo site has access to all our sample reports. And um, feel free to give it a run and um, contact us if you have any further questions. As I mentioned, we provide a very simple pricing structure that includes everything, the customization, um, technical support, client services, um, access to data results and uh, generation of reports and the access to education site and so forth, it's all inclusive. We do offer volume discounts. So if you have um, multiple academic programs interested in using our assessment exam services, then we uh, account for the total institutional use of services and offer the discount based on the totality of your institution's um, assessment exam requirements. Uh, I've gone briefly over our other uh, academic programs and courses that you can offer to your students as part of a package. Uh, and those um, commonly used packages include academic leveling courses for incoming master's or doctoral students, uh, also Bloomberg Business Week and B-School Connection Resource Center uh, that comes with a 20-week subscription to Bloomberg Business Week, and right in sight, the academic writing readiness course is um, quite popular for um, not only graduate academic programs, but also undergraduate programs that have any um, courses uh, with a research paper or that culminates in writing any kind of uh, paper. So please check with us on different package uh, offerings and prices. Um, here's our contact information, and you have this presentation in a form of a PDF file. So this is our wonderful client services management team that provide you superior um, training and any support you need. Our educational programs team is represented here along with the academic support team. This is our leadership team. And now I'd like to open the floor to your questions. So if you have a question, please uh, click on the hand sort of image, raised hand, and then I can see you have a question. I will unmute you, and you make sure you unmute yourself on your end. So what questions do you have? You can also type in your questions 